Sometimes you think that somebody becoming successful means you have failed. But somebody becoming successful gives you a leverage to know that if because of this person I've been successful, then I can also be successful. It's an opportunity to see a weakness of somebody. Years ago, two people visited India. When they went, they wrote letters back to their country in UK. And this was how the first letter read. I visited the people of India. They are so poor that I wonder why we will even establish a business here. The next person also wrote, I visited the people of India. I realized that they don't have shoes. They are so poor, they don't wear shoes. I believe if we manufacture shoes and we bring it to this nation, we can make money. They all saw the same problem, but one saw the problem as a solution, and one other saw it as a problem. India is one of the most populous nations in the world. And if even they were to make 30 million shoes, what it simply means is that they will make money. If it is one or one dollar, they will make 30 million dollars. But other person also saw that they are not wearing shoes simply means that they are too poor to even do business in the country. A person who has a spirit of meekness doesn't see problems as problems, but sees problems as an opportunity. The Bible said, Bear ye one another's burden, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Now, this is a very serious statement. What does Paul mean by bear one another's burden? The word burden there speaks of the following. Bear people's problems, bear people's weakness. What is a burden? A burden is anything that gives somebody a weight. A burden can be anything that gives somebody sleepless nights. A burden can be anything that makes somebody worried, depressed, suppressed. We criticize people, we talk against them, and we speak against them. Just imagine that you are Joseph, you are in prison. If you never advised, if you never prophesied to a car bearer, that within three days, you will get out of here. And if you get out of here, remember me, Joseph would have still been in prison. And if Joseph had not helped the car bearer to get out of prison, and Pharaoh had a dream, the king would kill everybody, and Joseph would still remain in prison forever. Because if I'm not successful, I'm not going to help anybody. I've not finished praying on mine. How do I pray for somebody? That is where we fail. But the truth is that when you bear people's burden, God bears your burden. Sometimes you think that somebody becoming successful means you have failed. But somebody becoming successful gives you a leverage to know that if because of this person I've been successful, then I can also be successful.